the Toronto Blue Jays finished in fourth place in the American League East last season and missed the postseason for the second consecutive year. There is hope for the Blue Jays, however, and newly hired manager Charlie Montoya recently made an interesting comparison between his up-and-coming team and the Boston Red Sox. It reminds me of Boston five years ago when Mookie Betts and them first came up. They may have finished last, but you're looking at it from the other side, thinking, back quote, that team's gonna be good, I have the same feeling for this club, at Blue Jays manager Charlie Montoyo pick.twitter.com slash 6 hlv Richard Justice, at Richard Justice, March 3, 2019 Montoyo makes a lot of sense here. The Red Sox finished last in the Al East in 2014 and 2015 as they transitioned from a veteran team that won the 2013 World Series to one that would be led by many homegrown stars. Mookie Betts, Andrew Benintendi, Rafael Devers, Sander Bogarts and Jackie Bradley Jr. made huge strides in 2014, 2015, 2016 and 2017 before ultimately playing key roles in Boston returning to the World Series and beating the Los Angeles Dodgers last October. The Blue Jays are hoping for a similar ascent with their own collection of elite young talent, headlined by third baseman Vladimir Guerrero Jr., widely considered the best prospect in baseball. Guerrero and shortstop Bo Bouchette are top 10 prospects, and catcher Danny Jansen also is highly rated. Toronto isn't likely to compete for a playoff spot in 2019, but that shouldn't be the goal. The most important tasks for the Blue Jays are doing everything possible to help their best young players improve and lay a strong foundation for future success. The talent is there, now it's time to develop it. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Don't expect David Ortiz to pull a Jason Witten. The veteran tight end spent the 2018 NFL season as part of ESPN's Monday Night Football broadcast, but he recently decided to return to football and rejoin the Dallas Cowboys. David Ortiz arrived to spring training in Florida this past week and was asked about copying Witten and unretiring, and the Boston Red Sox legend gave a simple response. Check out his answer in the video below, is David Ortiz considering pulling a Jason Witten? Pick.twitter.com slash Inkbow9Urge7, Chris Mason, at by Chris Mason, March 2, 2019 This certainly was the expected answer from Ortiz, who no doubt is enjoying retirement after a Hall of Fame caliber career that saw him win three World Series with the Red Sox and hit 541 home runs. Despite no longer being on the team, Ortiz does make an effort to be around the club at different points throughout the year, and he's very optimistic about the 2019 squad's chances of repeating as World Series champions. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Craig Kimbrell is still in signed on the MLB's free agent market with spring training well underway for all 30 teams, but there are a few potential landing spots for the 30-year-old relief pitcher ahead of the 2019 season. The former Boston Red Sox closer is drawing interest from two National League East teams, per the Athletics' Ken Rosenthal. But the Nets, according to Major League sources, maintain interest in signing free agent closer Craig Kimbrell, a move that would cap off their efforts to construct a powerhouse bullpen and further escalate the competition in the NL East. The Braves also are exploring Kimbrell, who is entering his age 31 season, but reportedly only on a shorter deal. The Nationals just lost star outfielder Bryce Harper to the Philadelphia Phillies, and the Braves have yet to make substantial upgrades to their pitching staff after winning the NL East in 2018. Atlanta's bullpen ranked 10th in the National League in era, 8th in strikeouts, 7th in batting average against and allowed the second most walks last year. Kimbrell would give him a veteran presence at the back end of the bullpen with valuable playoff experience. Washington's bullpen was fairly average statistically in 2018, too, and certainly could use someone like Kimbrell to close games in what should be a very competitive NL East this season. The Minnesota Twins are another team to watch in the Kimbrell market as they reportedly have stayed in touch with his agent. 
Kimbrell tallied 42 saves with a 2.74 era, a 0.99 whip and 96 strikeouts over 62 and a third innings for the World Series champion Red Sox last season. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.